I've interviewed... Like a lot of people for documentaries. And there can be a lot of pressure going into an interview. You might be talking to someone you admire or an expert in a particular field. So you don't want to waste their time, you want to ask good questions, and you don't want to appear stupid. But you also want to capture that profound insight for your documentary. So how do you juggle all of that? Well, here are some of the things that have helped me. Make it personal. A critical thing to do early on is to establish trust and rapport with your subject. That's the only way you're gonna get those heartfelt answers. And you can do this a couple of ways. Be yourself, which sounds like trite dating advice, but an interview should kind of be like a great first date. What I mean is you don't have to assume the role of a serious formal interviewer. Just be genuine, allow your curiosity to run wild, your wonder to show, actually be interested in your subject and get to know them. You can also try and find common ground. Werner Herzog has this great anecdote about interviewing a group of astronauts and he had no idea what he was going to talk to them about. But he knew that one of them grew up on a farm and Herzog knows how to milk a cow, so that's what he started with. And I said, you sir, you can milk the cows. Ah, he said. So sharing some kind of life experience is the fastest way to gain trust. And then from that foundation, you can ask almost anything. So don't be afraid to talk about yourself. Be open if you want your subject to be open. In my experience, you meet your subject for the first time at the interview, and you spend maybe half an hour to an hour talking on camera. I've never had a pre-interview, at the most a coffee while I set up my tripod and lights. So you have to establish that connection really fast. But I like that. It means everything is fresh on camera, which I think is important. The interview becomes a journey of discovery. Otherwise, it runs the risk of sounding rehearsed or, or very wooden. I don't really like thinking of documentary interviews as interviews. I think it makes them too rigid or formal. What I want is a conversation like you'd have with a mate in a bar or when you meet someone and there's just like sparks flying. That's what I want on camera. So the interview to me is really a great conversation. Now, obviously a great interview has great questions and I'll cover questions in part two of this video. But it's helped me to just step back and think what makes a great conversation. So broadly speaking, really, really broad, when someone says something, you can respond in a few ways. You can respond laterally by making a connection or finding an association with something equivalent. You can go deeper on that subject. And usually that means asking why or how a person really feels about a thing. Or you can make a joke, could just make light of the topic. Obviously, there isn't an exact formula to having a conversation, but thinking of those three types of responses, those three tools, if you like, as a guiding principle has helped me navigate the natural flow of a conversation. So for documentary, going deep is what we want. We want to know how a person really feels about something, but always hitting that line of questioning can be tense and it's mentally and emotionally exhausting. At some point, you'll feel like you've run out of questions and your subject will have run out of answers. And you'll know this awkward silence is approaching. So just before that happens, as you can feel it building, make a joke, make a light comment, just relieve all of that tension. I think of it like uh, coming up for air after diving underwater. It's not necessarily something I'm doing consciously, but I have noticed this pattern and I think it helps to be aware of it. You know when you've had a really engaging conversation, it just feels alive. And I think generally speaking, that's because it's followed many iterations of this path. Lateral, dive, come up for air. And questions, they help you direct the interview, but the real heart of it is this conversation. So the next interview you have, I would think about what makes a great conversation. They make a comment, you make a connection, you both go deep on that, then before it becomes too draining, you make a joke. Lateral, dive, come up for air.